go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you've never been here before this video won't be too long it'll probably be about 10 minutes or so and you can listen and take heed all right so this video right here i've been wanting to do for a while this is about the women who seek a man that makes a lot of money of lately they've been calling him a six-figure nigga or a six-figure man that means a man that makes a lot of money all right the problem with that situation most of the time is the women that are seeking a man that makes a lot of money or a six-figure man she herself is not a six-figure woman <laughs> bear with me she walk with me she herself is not a six-figure woman right now you would ask yourself and you would ask her what qualifies you or what what about you that makes you think that you deserve a six-figure man because you see there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes here a six-figure man did not just roll over in bed one morning and became a six-figure man that six-figure man has been down and out before unless he was born into that money which most aren't he was been down and out before he has been to the levels before where he told jokes and pretty girls didn't laugh because he was broke and he was known as the broke nigga not a six-figure nigga right He's been in situations before where he had to ramen noodles it up for the whole week because he was on a tight budget. He's been in situations before where he had to admire other people's things and aspire to go get them, but he didn't have anything like that. You know, cars, house, whatever else there is. He's been all up and down that route already. So, wanting a six-figure man... You must understand that a lot goes into becoming a six-figure man and a lot goes into remaining a six-figure man. See, it's one thing for you to earn a certain amount of money and you got the bag and it was a big bag, but you got it once. And now you're trying to make that big bag stretch and you can't, right? That means you were once somebody with a lot of money. But a six-figure man is somebody who gets this money all the time, repeatedly. Now you must understand that in order for him to get this money repeatedly, he must do things repeatedly. Which means, if he has to sacrifice a lot of sleep, if he has to stay up all night, or travel all day, or stay up all day and all night if he has to be here be there be everywhere except for being home if he comes home once every week or if he comes home or if he takes contracts and he's on the road and he's traveling away from home that is what is required for him to be the man that you so desire a six-figure man here's a surprise for you ladies there are no six-figure sit-at-home men, okay? There are no six-figure sit-at-home men. They don't sit down and play video games on the couch all day, and he, he has all the time in the world to dick you down properly. Most six-figure men are tired. By the time they get to the house, they are tired. By the time they turn the computer off if they work from home, by the time they shut it down in the home office, they are tired. And then he has to spend time with you. And then you are so extra, you not only want a six-figure man, you want a six... Listen, today's women are something else. They want a six-figure man with a big dick that could fuck like a porn star and do rounds and go for hours and all... <laughs> listen, all that work that that man does to be a six-figure man, his body is weakened, okay? He tired. He wants to sleep. Matter of fact, I've heard other females try to tell females this before. And those other females get cussed out for trying to tell these females this. A six-figure man requires, not desires, even though he desires, but requires 
a different level of a woman. So, one of the biggest mistakes that you women make is this. And we know your history, and we're not saying anything bad about your history. Matter of fact, we're not even questioning your history, who you've been with, how many men you've been with, because we don't care, right? Just like how we don't want you to question us about our history, we feel it's fair that you're not questioned about yours as well. But we know your history, as in, by the time that six-figure man has met you, and you're pretty on the outside, you're so dazzling that he had to come over, because let's not get it twisted, what people are attracted to, especially men, we're attracted to what we see first. Nobody looks at you from down the street or across the room and say, damn, that person's intelligence just shines through the side of their head. I got to go get some. That's not how it works. They look at you first and they're like, damn, she's fine. I got to talk to her or I got to have her. And then after initial conversation, you say, uh, yeah, I don't like the way she talks. Um... Her mouth stinks. Whatever the case is for that person. Him, her, or whatever. Okay? So, what the mistake that a lot of you women make is this. The level of commitment that's required to get and keep a six-figured man, you're not ready for it. You're not ready for it. And I'm talking about the women who want this type of man that's able to pay all the bills. That way she can make her own money if she makes her own money. And she can go spend it on whatever. You know. Hopefully. I'll tell you what's going on in the back of that six figure man's mind. I hope she doesn't deplete my money. I hope she respect the fact that I work very hard for this. And I hope she can at least use her money to do something constructive that's what's going on so I'm, but but here's the problem when a six-figure man picks up a woman who's not a six-figure woman or is far from it and does not understand the work ethic that goes with being a six-figure man he's looking most of the times at somebody who wants to be pampered who wants to be taken care of who wants all the bills to be paid who wants to be able to live a lavish life right chilling every day like she's on vacation but here's the thing you're gonna have to hold the house down and according to your background you've been with bum niggas before and we know this this is why I said we're not questioning your history of how many people you've slept with but we know you've had past relationships before you got to us this six figure man knows that you have had past relationships before you got to him and you've been with some bum niggas before okay you've been with those who had money probably but he wouldn't spend his money on you probably because he was wise he didn't see you fit as a wife or you've never had a six figure man before but you've been with bum ass ray ray from around the block and dajon and john tay from down the street and those guys gave you dick and nothing else no commitment no nothing and they broke your heart and they cheated on you and they lied to you and all that other stuff this is how you ended up going from one relationship to another and don't say i'm lying because no relationship ended simply because oh we just grew apart it ended because your feelings got hurt it ended because you found out you weren't the only one and you wanted to be the only one to that bum ass nigga. It, <laughs> listen, listen, we know all this. So you're coming battered and scarred to this six figure man. And you have this certain type of way that you talk to the men because you've been choosing the same man for quite some time. So you've acquired this mannerism of how you talk to your men that you're with, right? And you like somebody that argues with you every now and then so your your ghetto side and your hood side can come out. So you can say, fuck you, nigga. And you can hear him say, fuck you too, bitch. And you like that type of shit. Even though you might say you don't. There's a part of you that's addicted to it. Well, hear what? That six-figure man has no time for that. He's so busy being a six-figure man and maintaining being a six-figure man. He wants to waste or to use his time constructively he doesn't want a argumentative woman 
he doesn't want an aggressive woman that's going to act as if he's the bitch. He doesn't want a woman that makes him feel like he wears the thongs and she wears the pants and the boxers. He doesn't want a woman that he's going to have to wrestle his manhood away from or fight to prove that he is a man or the man in that relationship. He doesn't want that. And a lot of you will sneak into the relationship all nice and prim and proper, just like he wants you to be, you know, and he likes you a little bit ratchet and a little bit bougie and a little bit this, and you become everything he wants you to be until you feel like I got him. And once you feel like you've got him, all he does is work and come home. Then comes, girl, he's so boring. All he does is just work and come home. We don't go nowhere. We don't do nothing. That's because he's busy being a six-figure man. And you start to forget that all your bills are paid and you're a grown-ass woman who's living freely, right? All right. He's going to need a different level of commitment from you, a six-figure man. He's going to need a different level of respect from you, a six-figure man. You can't talk to him like how you talk to your ex-boyfriend Ray Ray and John Tay from down the block and Daquan and whoever else you dated before that fucked you over and left you. You can't talk to this six-figure man like that. You can't address him in the same manner. So in other words, you yourself are going to have to level up. I remember Kevin Hart doing a comedy special and Kevin Hart said, if he had a double for himself, he would still need somebody else to be in all the places that he had to be in. And he was doing all this as one person. He's here, there, he's everywhere. He's doing commercials, this, radio spots, that, TV, this, that ad, this movie, that movie, shooting here, flying there. And by the time he comes home, he is dead ass tired, you know, and he was checking it and he said, yeah, his dick game was falling off. Um, he'll get home and he'll hit the wife, bam, 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 he'll nut and he'll go to sleep. And he brought it to his wife's attention before she didn't have to say to him like, damn, babe, we used to have good sex. What happened to you? You know, he, she didn't have to say that to him. He said it to her. He said, babe, listen, you're going to have to choose. You're going to have to choose between being rich and getting some good dick because right now, He's trying to strike the iron while it's hot. This, this this don't last forever. And his moment is now. And he's trying to capitalize on everything right now and put the work in right now. And it requires him to be on the go constantly. It requires him to do stuff and live a life that drains his energy to where when it comes to if Dick is all she's concerned about and how good her husband can give it to her and for how long, then we're going to be in problems. We can get to that later on in life after we've established ourselves in a manner where we don't have to worry about any of this other stuff anymore. But for right now, this is what it is. And that resonated with me because that's a, you know, Kevin Hart is like a 10 figure man. He, Kevin Hart is like a, a 20 figure man at this point. Y'all looking for six figure man. And I'm trying to tell you that that six figure man is trying to make it to that Kevin Hart level money kind of man. He doesn't want to stop right where he's at because he met you and get comfortable there. He wasn't comfortable when he was broke. That's what got him to be in a six figure man. And you got to understand that when you get in his life, that he did not need you because he's not Ray Ray. He's not Daquan. He's not John Tay. He doesn't need to borrow your Nissan Maxima. He doesn't need, he doesn't live in his mama's basement. He doesn't need to split the rent with you. He doesn't need a roommate. He doesn't need you for anything. He wants you. So when he wants you and he lets you into his world, he's not letting you into his world for you to disrupt his flow, his way to success. You're supposed to enhance him. You're supposed to understand what it takes. And this is why we say that a lot of these women are asking for six-figure men. And she doesn't even know what the hell to do with the six-figure man if she got a six-figure man. 
You know what I'm saying? A six-figure man ain't for every woman. That's bawling and hollering out. I want me a six-figure man. I'm not dating no broke man. Now, check this out. Funny enough, six-figure women don't go around saying, I want me a six-figure man. And she qualifies because her six-figure didn't come by her just being, waking up, rolling over on the bed, and boom, I roll into six-figure, a six-figure salary. She worked her ass off to get there. So when she meets her equal, which is a six-figure man, she understands that, yep, he's going to be working his ass off, and I'm going to be working my ass off, and we probably won't have enough time to one-on-one, -on -one, dinner for two, long hours on the couch together watching Netflix eating popcorn and feeding each other and feeling on each other and then end up having sex all those we won't be able to do all that because he's always traveling or he has to work late nights and he's tired all the time and i gotta get up early in the morning and go and i'm tired all the time too and she understands that and for a lot of them that's the reason why they actually don't get in a relationship the women because the men that are out there won't understand or if he's a six-figure man like she is which she considers her equal she already knows what's required in that relationship so be careful of the things you ask for you're out here asking for a six-figure man i heard one female say man these girls out here asking for six-figure men i just want one man for myself that's loyal that's ambitious he's willing to get up and go to work and help pay the bills and treat me and the children that we have together like gold. And I said that's very realistic. But a lot of you are skipping over realistic. And you're going for fantasy. It's not to say that a six figure man won't date you. It's not to say that a six figure man won't have sex with you. It's not to say that a six figure man. And some women are comfortable with that. They don't want to be married to a six-figure man. They just want to sling him some coochie, fly to some exotic places every now and then, you know, um, get a Birkin bag or get a couple of dollars off of him every now and then. And that's very doable because he can fit you into his life then. It's kind of easier to do it that way than to commit to you and then I'm not able to fly you anywhere on a regular basis because I'm busy all the time. And you need to understand that. And you have to wait until my schedule breaks for us to take a vacation together. Now you mad. Because he work all the damn time and we don't ever get to go nowhere. And in ending this video, I'm going to say this to the brothers out there who are getting it. If you're out there getting your coins, man, and you're putting your life together and your money is right. It's okay to let the females call you mean and say, I don't want no mean man that's not going to give me anything. It's okay. Keep your money. Stack your money. Stack it for rainy days. Invest your money properly. Treat yourself, king. All right? And don't be the one that's the butt of her joke when she is telling her friends, how much she digs into your pockets. And I'm not even really into him like that anyways. But he got money girl. He got money. So you know what I'm saying. The dick ain't even good. The dick is trash. But he got money. So you never know what's being said about you behind your back. Okay. So until you find your equal. Or a woman that is willing to give that level of submission that is required. Keep your money. There's a lot of them out here that you can have fun with that are willing to have fun. But keep your money and keep your life clean. I'm going to leave it right there. Tell me where I went wrong in this video. And tell me what else you think I need to know. And I'll catch you on the next video with SoFlow TV. I'm out. Peace.